Struggling to decide between Beehive and Substack for your newsletter? In this video, we'll compare ease of use, pricing, and each tool's unique features so you'll know exactly which platform is best for you. Let's get started. First, let's just say that both Substack and Beehive are super easy to use, but Substack specifically claims it's designed for writers and, well, it shows. The editor feels like a trip to the old blogging days or writing in a bound journal. Clean and classic. There are no distractions, no clutter. Like Substack, Beehive is also easy to set up but comes with more advanced features. Things like different ways to monetize your list, deep audience segmentation, and automations. Though the learning curve is slightly steeper, these are all really powerful features to have, but more on that later. The email editors for both platforms are simple and straightforward. But all in all, Substack wins this round as it's the easiest solution to quickly get up and running. Substack is free to use and there are no limits when it comes to growing your list and offering paid subscriptions. But here's the catch. You'll pay some pretty big fees once you start making money. You can offer different subscription tiers, but that's about as far as Substack goes. While this monetization model can work wonders for many, keep in mind that Substack is really only built for this. There are no features for any other monetization options like ads or sponsorships, so you're pretty limited. Now, what about Beehive? Well, it's on a whole different level. Every update seems to bring new ways to help its users monetize and grow. Of course, this comes with a price tag, but we'd say it's pretty justified. Beehive has a built-in ad network. You can easily connect with premium sponsors or even get paid for recommending other newsletters. And when it comes to paid subscriptions, it goes beyond the usual monthly or yearly model. You can also offer a lifetime subscription where readers pay once for lifetime access or a pay what you want option for readers on a budget. Plus, there's a referral program that rewards subscribers for bringing in new readers. And like I said before, they're always rolling out these really cool new updates. So it's no surprise that Beehive takes the win here. They really mean it when they call themselves the newsletter platform built for growth. As you probably already know, Substack's simple email editor isn't particularly flexible. It offers basic options like adding lists or highlighting quotes and a few extras such as embedding audio and video. But there are no email templates to work from and everyone's newsletter ends up looking quite similar. To be fair, you can add a logo, pick from a few font options and change the background and main colors, but it's all pretty basic. Now, Beehive's design tools are pretty basic too, but they do have some pre-made templates. Their design lab lets you choose things like fonts, header styles and background colors. In the email editor, you can easily add content blocks for images, buttons, tables, social media embeds, and video and audio files too. But just like with Substack, most of their newsletters look kind of the same. As you can see, neither platform offers a lot of design flexibility, but well, that's kind of the point. They keep things simple so you can focus on creating. So who wins this round? Beehive wins by a hair because it does offer a little more flexibility. Substack is packed with engagement tools. It almost feels like a social media platform. On your homepage, you will see a leaderboard for top posts. Readers can do more than just open your emails and reply. They can leave comments, like your post, easily explore other newsletters, and scroll through a notes feed, a place where writers can quickly share ideas and recommendations. One of the best things about Substack is its warm community. Creators often promote each other's work to their audiences, helping everyone grow. There's also an inbox for all of the newsletters you subscribe to and a chat feature for direct messaging. So you can start real conversations with your audience. While some users love the new wave of engagement tools, others miss the simplicity of the old school Substack. Either way, it's clear they wanna create a platform that's all about interaction and community building. Beehive has a different approach to community. Though it is possible to like and comment, comments aren't automatically enabled, so you have to make sure to turn that on. When it comes to growing your list, Beehive stands out with three key features. First, a referral program that encourages subscribers to share your newsletter. Second, paid newsletter boosts, which allow you to promote and be promoted by other newsletters. And third, a recommendations feature for cross-promoting your favorite feeds. These are all great features, but Beehive's still not as community-focused or social as Substack. So ultimately, Substack takes the win here. Now let's take a quick look at list management and reporting. Substack keeps it quite basic, as usual. You can see engagement rate, open rate, click-through rate, and that's about it. There's no way to segment your audience, so you can't send personalized messages to different groups of subscribers. Substack's model works in one way only. 
it splits up your content into two chunks, free and paid. The part of your content that's free goes out to all subscribers and the full content is reserved for paid subscribers. That's it. With Beehive, it's a whole different story. You can segment subscribers based on the list they're on, any attributes or engagement metrics, or even when they've responded to a survey with a particular answer. You can send targeted messages to specific groups and even create automated sequences to nurture those relationships. Plus, Beehive's reporting is much more detailed. You can find specific information about different groups of readers, like how many people found you on Instagram or in which countries your email was opened. Substack's list and reporting features might be good enough for its millions of users, but clearly Beehive is the obvious winner here. Now, both Substack and Beehive are trying to become full-blown creator ecosystem, so it makes sense that most of their extra features will be related to this. Here's a quick rundown of their best extras. With Substack, you can easily launch a podcast and even record episodes directly in the editor. Readers can listen to your newsletter instead of reading it, which is a nice addition. They've also just rolled out a feature for video posts where you can offer exclusive content to paying subscribers and share free previews of those paid videos. Substack is pretty clearly heading towards a full creator platform. Now, Beehive is a bit more focused on helping you grow and optimize your email list. They've launched an audio and video feature too, so you can upload these files just like on Substack. You also get a free website when you sign up, which is a great bonus. And like we mentioned earlier, they have some really cool extras for premium subscriptions like the pay what you want option. But the real game changer? Beehive lets you automate email sequences, something Substack doesn't do at all. You can set up workflows triggered by things like signups and target specific segments of your audience. This is a huge deal for growing your newsletter and getting the most out of your content. Because of Beehive's advanced automation features and growth focus, with so many extras rolling out all the time, they win this round too. Now, as promised, let's check out pricing details. Remember, Substack is completely free to get started, no matter how many subscribers you have. Pretty great, right? However, once you start making money with paid subscriptions, the platform takes a 10% cut from each subscription, plus the standard Stripe fee for transactions, which is 2.9%, plus 30 cents per transaction, plus 0.7% for recurring payments. It's a lot. Now, Beehive's pricing structure is quite different from Substack's but similar to most other email marketing platforms. They offer a free launch plan that allows for up to 2,500 subscribers. It includes custom website and domains, the recommendation network, and segmentation. However, on this free plan, you won't have access to Beehive's native ad network, automations, or any monetization features. For those, you'll need the scale plan, which starts at $39 a month for up to 1,000 subscribers. There's also the max plan, also for 1,000 subscribers, which starts at $99 a month, but comes with a few extras like priority support and a newsletter course. As you can see, it's definitely not the cheapest option. But the good news is Beehive doesn't take a cut of your earnings at all. Your money is all yours. In the end, it's hard to pick a winner since both platforms offer two very different pricing models and it really depends on what your goals are. That being said, Beehive narrowly wins this round for not taking a cut of your earnings. We have a winner. Beehive is our favorite tool with a score of five to two. Let's quickly do a recap of Beehive and Substack's pros and cons. First up is Substack. Its pros are, it's easy to use, clean interface and editor, great community and engagement features, it's audio and video offerings, which creators can use to expand their work, it's pricing model, which lets you get started for free and is ideal for beginners on a budget. As for Substack's cons, added fees on earnings is a bit off-putting, Plus, there are no segmentation or automation features, and you can only divide your audience into paid subscriptions and free subscriptions, which could be limiting. Now let's recap Beehive. Here's where it shines. Beehive is an amazing tool for growth as it offers a free plan for up to 2,500 subscribers that comes with nice features. You can also upload audio and video files to your newsletters. Its automation and segmentation features allow you to make the most of your lists and content. And its growth features like the ad network and cross-promoting here are a plus. But here's where Beehive has some room for improvement. It's not as intuitive to use as Substack. It also doesn't include any kind of social media features. It's really focused on just email. Also, once you want to monetize your newsletter, you might find your monthly subscription cost rises quickly. Although the caveat here is that Beehive won't take a cut of your earnings. Well, that's it. Which platform do you think makes the most sense for you given their pros and cons? If you're still undecided, feel free to chat with us in the comments. 
Also, make sure to sign up for our newsletter for creators for more content like this. I'll leave the link below. And head on over to emailtooltester.com to find all our latest reviews, guides, and tutorials.